Hi there, Lorraine Bracken here from the Digital Explorer. First of all, welcome to my Movely review. My goal here is to answer as many questions as you may have about Movely. So I'll be giving you an in-depth walkthrough of the features in the software. I'll be going through the price and plans, what you get, what you don't get with each plan, what I like and dislike about Movely, and whether I believe it's worth the money or not. And before I dive right in, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell notification because this is where you'll find honest reviews and tips about all things making money online. You will also see in the first line in the description down below free training you can access. It is my top recommended free training to start an affiliate marketing business. So if you're willing to put in the work, sign up today because you can get started today. First of all, what is Movely? Well, to put simply, you can create videos for business or education or personal by using royalty free images and videos that they provide you within the platform. And also you can do doodle videos and cartoon videos. Movely has four pricing plans, whether that be on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. If you go on the yearly basis, it dramatically reduces in price. But for this example, we'll stick with the monthly and we'll go through these in more detail. We have a free plan, which is what I'll be showing you and all the features you get with that. Also, you have the pro and you have max and then enterprise. OK, so after you sign up for an account with Movely, you'd be brought to this dashboard area here. Now, this is the area where my projects you will see previous work you have done. And also you can create a new video from here. We have collaboration galleries, archived and templates. We'll take a look at templates because this is the area where you can see the selection of pre-made videos that you can choose from. You can narrow down your search based on what style video you want by choosing one here or else you can simply just scroll down the page and see what they have on offer. On the top we have the iStock, stock and you have to pay an additional cost for these videos but all the rest here are free and you have enterprise templates, general templates, uh, the list goes on this so there's a lot of uh, choices um, and availability for you there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the features by doing a brand new one from scratch so you can see exactly how it works and how easy or hard you consider it to be so i'll scroll to the top of the page here where we start our video creation and we select create project and they give us a choice whether we want to start one from scratch use a template or import powerpoint file so i'm going to start one from scratch I'm now inside the Movely editor and I'm just going to quickly run through all the sections right here. First of all, we'll look at the library section and in here you're going to get access to different clips, graphics, cartoon or doodle makers. You also have stock media for photos, videos, so you have different options for whatever style of video you want to create. In the middle here we have the staging area which is self-explanatory. This is where your video is going to be showing up and how you can edit it. On the right hand side we have the stage properties. So if you have some text in there and you want to change the size, the color, you can just change whatever properties you want within your video. And last but not least, we have our timeline here at the bottom. And this is where all your video clips is going to show and how it plays throughout the video. The easiest way for me to show this is to actually go and create a video. So we'll go into that right now. The first step we need to take is decide what size video you want. So whether that be 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 1 by 1 or 2 by 3. That will all depend on where you want to post your video, whether it be on YouTube or whether it be Facebook, Instagram and you decide on what video size you want to create. And then you have a white background and then you can either have video style or presentation style. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of different clips in the different style of videos they provide so that you can understand how they work and how they can actually be put together. The first style we're going to choose is the doodle maker. So I'm going to check the library and select doodle maker. You can choose from clips, uh, different backgrounds and then we have images and at the bottom we have some videos you can choose from. To preview any video or clip you can simply just click on it and it'll bring it over here on the right hand side and it'll show you exactly how it'll look before you add it on to any video. So you can play around with this and see which ones you like and if you're happy enough to add it onto your video you can drag and drop it onto the frame. With the Doodle Maker videos, they do give you a warning that if you're not using Google Chrome or Firefox, these images won't work for your videos. So that just make sure that you want to go ahead and I select yes. And then you can preview it down here. You'll notice when I added this boy, he's going to be on our timeline. So we can adjust the length. 
and we can preview it by pressing play and it goes on for longer. If you've made a mistake or you want to delete something from your video, you can go down to the timeline and select the delete button here and it's gone. Now we'll take a quick look at the clips. We'll choose this one. You'll notice that that's actually created a new clip called Notebook Clip and you can double click on it and rename it as intro or whatever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the other clip. You can lengthen or shorten the clip. We can select play. And I'm going to pause it when it starts writing. I clicked on the text and now we can edit this to whatever we want. I'll write in some text here. I'll move this red line back to the beginning and we can see how it looks. And when you're happy enough with that particular clip, you can add another clip from down on the bottom left hand side. This timeline can get very cluttered very fast with each clip you add. So I recommend that you should be happy enough with the first clip before moving on to the next one so that it avoids confusion. So I'll go ahead and add another clip and it shows up right here and we can rename it. It automatically starts the next clip after the previous one. And for this clip, I'm going to show you how you can use the royalty free images. I select library and we scroll down to the story block free. Now be careful not to select this one because you will get charged extra if you go with these ones. I want an image or a video of an oven. So I'm going to search it in the search bar and I'll scroll down to the story block free. I'll preview this one that looks OK and I'll drag it in. Select OK. I can shorten the second clip by scrolling back here and it'll drag it back. I'm going to add in some text. So we select the T and click on the screen and we can edit our text and we can enlarge it. We can drag it around and on the right hand side, we can change the properties of the text, highlight it. I want it in bold and I also want it in white. We can also animate this text by simply clicking on the actual text feature from the timeline and select add animation. And you got a choice of different actions you can do with the text, whether that be with the hands feature, you can use the highlight feature, move and transition, exit and enter. So if we want the text to move down, we just select move down here and it'll show on the timeline. You can shorten it or lengthen it for whatever way you want. We can shorten the clip by dragging the yellow box back. And for the next clip, I'm going to do a cartoon style video and then add some elements and text to it. I'll go back to the library and select cartoon. And again, we have clips, backgrounds, and then you have images and videos. I'll use this cartoon clip to preview it. We can change any of them elements we want. So I'll delete these three and I'm going to add a banana. We can reduce the size. I look for a bowl. There's nothing really available for the cartoon bowl. So what we can do is look for something else. I'll select this pot here and add it onto the screen and reduce it. And each element you'll notice that they're added here on the timeline. And we can also change the text. I'm going to go ahead and take out the hand. I'm going to shorten the video clip, move the banana back to the beginning of the clip and then the cooking pot. And we'll see how that looks. I'll move the banana back in and you can play around with this whatever way you want, but you can see how it does take trial and error and you just have to figure out which way you want it to come in and that looks better. Now we can also add music to our videos and you simply go down to music and you can choose from a stock library here. Now you have to be aware that anything more than two minutes long, it won't let you add in the free plan. So we're going to select this one here and add that into our track and select OK. And we can preview it here. And if you have any images or videos or sounds you want to upload yourself, you can do it here. And also in the record section, you can record your voice and add it to the track. 
Now with the free plan, you don't have any access to the text to speech, record webcam or record screen. If you want to see the whole video clips from the beginning, you can simply drag this red icon back to the beginning and select play. And you'll notice that the Movely watermark and the logos on the video, that will be on the video unless you have the paid version. And that's where I added the music at the end. If you want the music on the whole video, you add that first and then the extra clips on top of it. So really that's just a rundown of how Movely works, all the features and all the different options you have to edit your videos. Okay, so onto what I like and dislike about Movely. What I like is it's very versatile. You can use this for so many different types of videos and you can edit them to whatever way you want so they're unique and they're your own. And also, I really like that they have the free plan because you can use these videos, even though there is a watermark and their logos on it, but still, it's a good option. It's free if you're on a budget. What I dislike about Movely is the fact that there is a learning curve. And if you have no idea how to edit a video or you have no interest in learning how to edit videos, then Movely might not be the option. And also the price plan. If you want to have text to speech on your video, or you want to have better quality videos, or you want them longer than two minutes long, then this may not be the option because the pricing for that is on the pricey side, in my opinion. So my overall thoughts is Movely is an excellent software if you want an all-in-one video maker platform. It has all the features you need, um, but it really does depend on what you're looking for. If you just want a simple, easy software that creates videos quickly, then this may not be the right one for you. Like if you have the ability and the confidence to edit your own videos and take the time to make them, then de definitely this is an option to consider. However, if you're looking for the text to speech feature, the price plan to have that included on Movely is very pricey in my opinion. And there are alternatives that you can buy the software for a one-off fee and then upload it onto Movely. So that's my review of Movely. I hope you found it interesting and I answered all the questions you may have had. If I haven't, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And again, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification and I'll catch you on the next video.